Hi, we're here at LAMC New York with Pajaritos. Introduce yourselves, your name. Hi, I'm Sarah, DJ Riobamba. And my name's Ernesto, DJ Malagon. And you, you're from Boston, correct? Correct, this is true. <laughs> are you both from, I'm sorry, are you both from Boston? Born and raised. Born and raised. Born and raised. My mom is Ecuadorian, so that's where you know the interest in Latin music comes from. And my father is as gringo as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm from Houston, um, where I grew up with Mexican parents who are from Mexico City. So I, that's where my Latin roots come from. Is um, we both sort of started DJing together and found that that was the point where we where we met. Um, and so that's what we we play. Cool. So, then, so then tell us that story. How is it that you met? How is it that you started performing together or working together? Uh, we both went to school in Boston and left for a couple of years. Um, Ernesto went to Austin. I went to New York and um, to Barcelona. And we came back right around the same time and both had this interest in sharing our experiences with other music and other cultures and like building a community out of that in Boston. So I hear that Boston, you know, being a coastal city has a lot of, you know, usually has a lot of immigrants like any other place. But how is it, how is the Latin culture scene in, in Boston? Um, well, do you want to answer? Um, we, I, I feel like Boston has a lot of, um, a lot of borders that people don't cross. Like there's a lot of like cultural pockets, um, but not like crossroads really between them. Um, and so that's kind of what we're interested in um, in trying to break a little bit. Like we're doing a mobile version of our party, Pico Picante, that's going to go all around the city and um, sort of like show the music to people who wouldn't be able to access like this one bar downtown in like financial district area that right. we, where we play. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of cultures around, and we want us we want to be able to like come to them if they're not if they're not you know. Um, like leaving their cultural neighborhoods. No, that's that's really important. I'm glad that you bring that up because Chicago is really known as well as many other major cities for, for its segregation. It's something that the country, you know, suffers with. It's something that's just a lag from the civil rights, you know, eras and all those self-segregation, those issues that we can talk about. But I've talked to DJs and stuff too or other people who throw parties and it's always, that's always my major concern as well. You have this party or this DJ or this one monthly, you know, party at a certain bar or it rotates from a couple bars but they're usually in the same area you know financial district in your case or like you know wicker park and hip hip places you know in whatever neighborhoods or they wouldn't whatever in cities they end up being in but how do you bridge that gap how do you make yourselves more accessible to all types of communities and you know share the share the love share the party right mm -hmm. so i really appreciate that's really awesome that you guys are doing that um what then would you, can you talk to us about about the music itself? What are you doing with with the music that maybe might be different or the same as other other groups who have similar parties, right? Because there's like Nacotec mm -hmm. and other sorts of parties that that are founded in New York that are famous for like being Latin, Indian fused kind of like themes. So what how are you mm -hmm. what are you doing that's different or this you know? Um, I think in you know addressing the segregation that we see a lot in Boston, like we are very intentional about who we invite to come and play the party. So we have a lot of people come from New York, like Upper Dandies come, Gecko Jones has come, people that have done that in their own communities and have really set an awesome example for us. But then for local Boston DJs, we have people that, you know, uh, play Vogue music, play, you know, electro cumbia, play West African music, and it's just bringing people together in an environment where the genre labels are not specific. It's more the experience of being somewhere that's hopefully warm and inviting and you can just go and know that you're gonna hear exciting music and have a good time but not feel like you know what to expect necessarily. That's yeah. interesting too that you're mixing other DJs into the into the mix too. So you're not just you and it's your show and that it's your party, it's, it's who, you, who you invite as well. Yeah, yeah, we put a lot of focus into like the curation of um, a good balance of like bringing different crowds in and I think that also it's kind of interesting to have it be in a place that's outside of all of the neighborhoods where a lot of like hanging out happens like the financial district is out of the way for a lot of the people that we invite and so it's not like one specific kind of subculture you know it's like all these people are coming and what we what we we don't have like a specific direction we're just exploring a bunch of stuff but the umbrella is basically that we're celebrating global influences in electronic dance music. 
So as new stuff comes out, we are seeking it and, and putting it out there. And as new DJs are like come under our radar, we'll try to bring them in and see, you know, get our crowd to be interested in them. Awesome. Have you have you come across any gems recently? We have so many gems in Boston. We're so <laughs> lucky. I'm like in a gush about people right now. But we have another resident DJ we work with, um, Ricardo. His, his DJ name is Oxycontinental. And um, he plays really awesome, like acid cumbia and underground house music from all over the world. Um, there's a great group of DJs in the New Life crew in Boston called Rizla and Dahana, who threw a party for three years, um, bringing a lot of artists from New York also that would normally skip over Boston, because unless you really carve out a space, I think it gets overlooked a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's been a lot of our intention is to um, put Boston on the map in terms of this kind of music, and we're... Um, like bringing other guests from out of town so that we can like keep, um, you know, if, if we bring people like we've brought um, a lot of people from New York and Montreal, um, and we would like to go back and like play at their parties and, you know, s start to like form this, this community that's, you know, all over the East Coast. Yeah. Well, hopefully maybe you can bring the East Coast parties uh, to Chicago because yeah, we'd we would love, love to have to. you. Yeah. <laughs>